city lights all around me Everyone's obscure Ten million people each with their problems Why should anyone care? In your eyes I can see Just a man vastly lost in this world Lost in a sea of faces Your body's a bread Your blood is a wine Cause you treated your life for mine Sometimes my life it feels so trivial Immersed in the greatness of space Yet somehow you still find the time for me It's then you show me your love In your eyes I can see In this world, lost in a sea of faces, your body's a bread, your blood is a wine. Cause you treated your life for mine. If only my one heart was all you gained from all it cost. Well, I know. Still been a man with a reason To willingly offer your life I am not just a man Vastly lost in this world Lost in a sea of faces Your body's a bread Your blood is a wine Cause you traded your life for mine I am not just a man Vastly lost in this world Lost in a sea of faces Your body's a bread Your blood is a wine Because you traded your life for mine Just one in a million Faces The high priest then asked Jesus about his disciples and his doctrine. Then the Jewish leaders took Jesus from Caiaphas to the palace of the Roman governor. And to avoid ceremonial uncleanness, they did not enter the palace because they wanted to be able to eat the Passover. So Pilate came out to them and asked, What charges are you bringing against this man? Pilate then went back inside the palace, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. With this, he went out and again to the Jews gathered there, he said, I find no basis for a charge against him. So Pilate took Jesus and had him whipped. The soldiers, having braided a crown from thorns, set it on his head, 
threw a purple robe over him and approached him with, Hail, King of the Jews! Then they greeted him with slaps in the face. Paul therefore went forth again and said unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate said unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests therefore and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. Crucified, my Lord. Were you there when they crucified, my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me. To tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you It causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on each side, and Jesus in the middle. Later, knowing that everything had now been finished, and so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there. So they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant, and lifted it to the lip, to Jesus' lips. Later, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Now Joseph was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly, because he feared the Jewish leaders. With Pilate's permission, he came and took the body. Mark 13, 1 through 3. The Sabbath day ended. Mary Magdalene married the mother of James and Swami. Swami bought spices. They were going to use them for Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the weekend, they were on their way to the tomb. It was just after sunrise they asked each other who will roll the stone away from the entrance to the tomb. But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. 
As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You're looking for Jesus, the Nazarene who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. After the sub Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. Mas el ángel respondiendo dijo a las mujeres, No temáis vosotras, fue crucificado. No está aquí, pues ha resucitado como dijo. Venid, ved el lugar donde fue puesto el Señor, e id pronto y decir a sus discípulos que ha resucitado de los muertos. Y aquí va delante de vosotros a Galilea, allí le veréis, y aquí os lo he dicho. Mateo 28, del 5 al 7. But the angels, but the angels said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you, you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and behold, he is going. Before, before you to Galilee, there you will see him. See, I have told you. Three and four. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Claim. 